Hey folks, so I am finishing up the electrical here and it is nice and chilly. I got a fire going. I don't know. It hasn't really taken the chill out. Coda's in here with me. We're trying to make the best of it. But I got the battery over in the corner. I'm going to have the switches here and I'm hoping that this light, which is, uh, you know, uh, whatever, uh, artificial light, what do you call that? Light bulb? Yeah. That light bulb that's running off the generator will hopefully get turned off sooner than later because I want to get these LEDs going. I want to show you exactly what it's going to look like in here. And quite frankly, I want to see what it looks like. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just keep poking away. What I'm doing here is I'm putting these little connectors on the end of this wire and uh, these connectors will eventually hook on to my switches. I'm going to have two of these little, I don't know what you call them, toggle switches. I'm going to have two of these in a corner piece in the wall. One switch will operate the lights above my head. Not the one you see, but the LED lights. The other switch will operate the lights way up on the peak. So I'm putting those little connectors on and let me reach around here. And uh, that's what I'm dealing with there. Just some Canadian Tire certified brand. So it is good enough for me. And uh, what was important here, I had to make sure that size fit snugly onto the back of the back of the switch so if you're doing this yourself take the switch 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 with you to the store to make sure it fits and we'll just get her in there like so <coughs> jeez losing it here get that get the old man strength heave on that and just like so so that's three. I got, uh, oh jeez, I'm a, uh, excuse me, I'll beep that out, but I just put one on the wrong wire, uh, because I was talking to you. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'll show you the outtake, but, uh, that, what I just hammered on, it's now got to come off and go on the other wire. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I got her fixed up. A little bit of backyard uh, electrical here. Give her the old man strength again. Good enough. So we have four there, and I can't quite remember what wire goes where. So we're going to end up doing a bit of test to ruin. So uh, yeah, but that's that's it for that one. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get two more of those. I got to go up top because I have a switch one of one of these that's going to go up top for the loft so let's uh let's rigaroo this ladder here and i know Cody doesn't like the sound of it so i'll try to be quiet hello again so i got a hole there it is right there i got two of these babies i got to uh basically put it on here and the way it's going to work is see these black wires these are going to be the two wires i have to connect with the switch in the middle at least that's what i think i have to do so let's put her on there <clears throat> come on the wire's a little long just trim her off And once again, dive deep here. This one's looking a little long too, so we'll clean her up, torque her down. This is about a five, uh, five finger torque setting. Actually, that was 10, I had two hands there. Good enough, okay. Bad joke, bad joke. Uh, here's my switch, and just like the two down below, it's a cheap toggle switch off Amazon. So I'm gonna just hook up one to the bottom. Like so. And one to the top. Like so. Alrighty, I got this all hooked up. As you can see, it's just gonna be like that. I'm gonna end up having a railing here. So obviously you don't fall off when you're trying to get up and down. And I'm also gonna have a, a real ladder, not one of these aluminum jobbers. So that's gonna be it for now. I'm hoping that this controls the lights right above your head. And this will be the loft switch. So I'm heading back down to hopefully run this into the power, uh, the 12 volt battery. And if all worked, I'm gonna have lights in three different spots. So back I go. Okay, hold up. 
Well, good enough for me. Let's uh, let's see if that's gonna work here. So heading on over the battery where Coda is guarding. Thanks, boy. Here's the three power sources. Uh, excuse me, the three wires that require power sources. One goes to the lights up here, and the lights under those two uh, two by fours. One goes way up to the peak, and one goes to the loft. So I have to do some rig in here. I gotta put. Uh, what do I gotta put here? I'm gonna put these three together and another three together and hook it up to the battery and you guys probably don't even know what I'm talking about so I'm just going to do it. And let's hook that up, hook the others up and let's see what happens. Probably not the best thing you should say when you do electrical work but keep this in mind this is uh joke I have no idea but uh, I guess I'll be flying by night here let's see about getting the old phone or roof kicked up all right you guys see me how's that awesome okay I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to get this going here best I can hold on there. It's hooked up right let's try the switches It'd be real nice if this worked at this point well 0 for 1 0 for 2 so that means I probably had a 50 50 chance of being right and I'm probably 50% wrong so let's uh, let's do something different I can't even see ah, for the lava ah the wire broke Okay, I gotta rejig this. I don't know what's going on out there. Uh, I got no light, I can't see. The wire just broke and that's the reality. So uh, yeah, I'll be back in two seconds. Success, well. I don't know what the heck's going on there, but I can tell you this. I just ran out to the generator to have a look-see and literally when i got there there's some sparks flying out and now i'm missing one of the two prongs and i don't know where the heck it is i think it might be still in the generator so that's a little sketchy that's sort of the reality if we're uh, out here working sometimes stuff happens and pe other people cut it out but you just saw it firsthand uh anyways i'm still in one piece so let's uh get her fixed up so this is the wire that broke out. It uh, came right off the connector as I was fooling around in the dark. And that kind of sucks for me. So I'm gonna rejig this now and try to salvage the other connector because I only have I only have that one. I don't have any extras, so kind of a nightmare. Oh just kidding I have a cut on my hand the wire hit me let's just jimmy rig this and see what happens with this one and I think I got it rigged up here so it looks to me like I had to have one on the middle and one on the top now when I hit this if all goes well this should turn on the lights and this should turn on the other set of lights and then I go up the ladder and the last second's turned on so I'm gonna turn off the light here and hope it works so we're in the dark, and that probably wasn't smart because now I can't even see the darn switch. I think I got her now. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's the one. So that is now the lights for the top. And if we swing around here, you can see that's uh, what do we got up there. Three sets. So that's just those ones on. The next switch should do these two and underneath the loft there. So let's see what happens. Which 
one is it? There we go. Look at that. That is a beautiful thing. So that would be everything except the loft. Kind of neat. We can have everything on or just the bottom one's on. That's kind of a neat look to it. Head on up yonder. And uh, there's the switch that's going to work the loft if all goes well. Bam. That's it. That's a fully linked tiny house. I'm pretty impressed with that. I think I'm getting down from here because I've had enough of this fooling around for tonight. But uh, I think things look good. Pretty happy with that. Let's pack her in for tonight. Believe it or not, it's only like 5 p.m. here, which is wild because uh, it's going to get darker up until the 21st earlier. But that's the, uh, that's the reality of winter here. Anyways, I'm heading out of here. Code is ready to go. So I appreciate everyone watching. Come on back next time. I got a few boards to hammer up. And then I'm going to just do some odds and ends. And then I'll be out here actually using this thing. So hopefully that's before long. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.